Yo, welcome in, fellas. My name is Sweet Phil, and I'm coming at you with the Chain Lightning Sorceress build. It did get a nerf from the early on PTRs to the service lane, but it is still absolutely amazing. And it still is, in my opinion, probably the best choice when you're talking about actually leveling build. So we'll go ahead and jump right into first, we'll go with the skill tree. We'll go into some aspects and stuff that you can kind of farm, not that you have to get lucky to find, but you can actually find in dungeons. We'll talk about the enchantment stuff, and we'll go ahead and talk about kind of what stat you want to get towards the end of the video. But the main section and the largest section is the skill tree, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Generally, a lot of people will say this, and I'm going to go ahead and jump on the bandwagon. Arc Clash, and we'll go in Enhanced Arc Clash. Good start right there, and actually when you bump up Arc Clash a bunch later, it actually becomes reasonably powerful. Coming down here, now that we've got two points in, we can go ahead and grab Chain Lightning. And we're going to go want, want to go to Enhanced Chain Lightning as well. 3% increased critical strike chance per bounce. So we'll just go ahead and pick that up. And now that we got that, we're going to want to jump over to Greater Chain Lightning. So you bounces off you, its next hit deals 10% increased damage. So boom, boom, there you go. And you could go, I see a lot of people want to go ahead and move into Flickering Arc Lash, or maybe even Glinting. I'm not really a big fan of either one of those. I'd rather pump another point into my Chain Lightning right now, get it a little bit stronger early on. Now, as soon as you can, do this, do this, do this, get teleport, really helps you out moving around. Obviously, everyone knows what teleport does. And another skill you can go ahead and get right now for the safety is Frost Nova. It unleashes a torrent of frost, freezing enemies around you for three seconds. Really great teleport in there, boom, cast the Frost Nova. And since you're teleporting in there, teleport's cooldowns increase by half a second for each enemy that you hit up to three seconds. So instead of the 11, it could come down to eight. And then once you do that, go over to Shimmering Teleport. You get 30 damage reduction for five seconds. So that's going to be good. Tally Stomp, Frost Nova, start Chain Lightning and Arc Lashing them. Boom, boom, boom. So we, you can see we just need one little point here to get up. Get that Chain Lightning a little bit higher. We're down to the next one. And right over here, you don't have to necessarily go and put points into anything over here. You can go ahead and pump up Chain Lightning. And we're just at level 12 here. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. Get more and more and more damage. Now, right now, though, I'm going to go ahead and take one point into align the elements. You gain one damage reduction against elites for each second. You haven't taken damage from one up to 40%. So anytime you're running around out in the open world, doing this, doing that, it's going to eventually get up and be maxed out. And then against the next elite, you're going to have 40% damage reduction. So that's pretty wild, pretty wild. It will build up a little bit between each one that you do fight, but that's kind of the main thing right there. So now that we've got down that, we've already got Chain Lightning maxed out. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at Frost Nova, and we'll go ahead and go to Enhance Frost Nova. Killing enemy with Frost Nova reduces cooldown by one second up to four seconds. So we'll go ahead and hit that. So hopefully getting 24 seconds down to 20, it is something. It is still quite a long cooldown, but we're getting it a little bit shorter. At this point, I kind of just want to get a little more, a little more, a little more damage. We're going to put one point into Glass Cannon, and that allows us to get down to the next branch of the skill tree here. And important to know, it did slip my mind just ever so slightly. Don't do that. But at level 15, you can go ahead and uh, do the quest to get your enchantment slot. So once you do that, go ahead, and I already got it in here. Put Chain Lightning. Now, that's kind of what I'm thinking, because every 100 mana you spent, you send another Chain Lightning out. So, and 100 mana... That's like nothing, folks. 100 mana is three casts of Chain Lightning because it costs 35 mana. So that's essentially a 33% enhanced damage against, you know, the monsters that you're attacking more than once. It's just every third one. But against the bosses and against the, the stronger elites and stuff, that's where it's really going to shine. Now, at this point right here, we can go ahead and get a little bit more safety. We are taking Glass Cannon after all, so we go ahead and get Ice Armor. A uh, barrier that forms ice around you for six seconds, supporting 30% 30, 30 of your base life and damage. So uh, that's pretty darn good right there. And we can go ahead and get this one right here. Enhanced ice armor. Boom, one point of that. Your mana regeneration increases by 25%. So getting more mana back so you can cast even more times. Now, since we did go ahead and get that glass cannon, let's go ahead and get mana shield. And I actually really like this one. Every 100 mana, you gain 5% damage reduction for five seconds. So boom, boom. 100 mana, we just said, you're going to be like 1, 2, 3, 100 mana gone. So we're going to get that 5 seconds. We're going to go ahead and replenish our mana with Arc Lash and whatnot. 
and then boom, 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 five more seconds. So I think that is a really good skill just to go ahead and max out at this point, especially since we got glass cannon and go ahead and put two more points in the glass cannon, maxing that out. And that gets us down to the next area. We're level 24. Now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and hit unstable currents. So lightning surges within for 10 seconds. Whenever you cast a shock spell, it randomly casts a core conjuration or master shock skill. So uh, that goes ahead and adds even more damage. You can come down to prime unstable current. So uh, unstable current, increase your attack speed by 25. And we're going to go ahead and just stop hold up right there because this is a crackling energy one. And generally, this is not a crackling energy type of build. I'm just kind of going to steer clear of it for this one. Now we're going to go ahead and do it now. You could always shift some points out of glass cannon and this and that if you wanted to do this earlier and then do glass cannon now. But we're going to go ahead and pump up our glass and that takes us right to level 30. And at level 30, you get the next enchantment slot. Now, actually, what I'm going to go ahead and do with this kind of a little cheeky little trick, which I uh, didn't realize until I did a little bit of research and found out about this. We're going to put one into Firebolt. Now, look at the enchantment down there. Direct damage from a skill, from skills, applies additional 23% burning damage over eight seconds. Now, that's going to be incredibly interesting once we take a look at that, because you can really boost up a ton of the fire skills in this tree. Now, as soon as you get that, you can go ahead and one, two, three into Fiery Surge. And that went ahead and pushed us down to enough skill points to where we can go ahead and grab ourselves Vyre's Mastery. Now we are shooting out those lightning, so close enemies take 10% increased damage from shock skills. Deal 20% less damage to you. So that's going to give us a little bit of benefit. Uh, the other ones don't really apply a whole lot to us for this build. So that's going to be our best option. Now we're going to come around one point into Endless Pyre. Just going to hop up here. Warmth is actually going to be a skill to where pump three points into that right now. And you can go ahead and actually heal yourself. It's almost 1% of your maxed health uh, for each nearby burning enemy. Heal increases for 1.8% for bosses. So it's one of the only ways here on the Sorceress without chugging potions. You can go ahead and heal, heal yourself. And that can bring you back from the brink. Or just keep you from using potions when you don't need to. Now right around this time. Perfect time to go ahead and go coursing energy. Kind of help you out a little bit there with a critical strike chance. Hitting enemies with shock skills increase critical strike chance by 1%. Re resets upon a critical strike. So that does definitely help you out. But we're going to go ahead and jump over here. And actually 3 into electrocution. Enemies deal 15% less at damage for 5 seconds after being critically struck by a shock spell. Now once again because all this stuff is burning. We're going to keep pumping up these burning damage so we're putting one into inner flame and that's just kind of to get us over to devouring blaze you're gonna hit that with a one two three you deal 30 percent increased critical damage against burning enemies and like you remember the enchantment for uh fire firebolt uh everything is going to be burning all the time when you're attacking it so getting that 30 percent increased critical strike chance absolutely primo now once again we're going to continue these late levels of pumping up these other skills to increase your damage and stuff like that so we're gonna put one into devastation and put a couple of skills here your core skills deal three percent increased damage when cast above 50 mana so one two three there if you can go ahead and cap it out you see we're a couple over 50 but you, you probably get a skill here and there or different quests or something so they do give that to you on this particular build planner so this build is going to absolutely wreck for you now we'll jump into some aspects that you can go ahead and go out and farm i'm not going to include any where you have to get super crazy lucky end game to go ahead and find them. These are ones that you can get in like Act 1, Act 2, Act 3, something like that, by farming a particular dungeon somewhere. This one right here, the Elementalist, you get them from Pallid Delve in the Dry Step. So core and mastery skills cast at or above 100 mana gain a 20% increased critical strike chance. And when you do these Codex of Power, it's always going to be usually the minimum. So it's going to be 20%, but that still is absolutely amazing. You can just go out and farm it, pick it up, and slap it on one of these spots by the way just a little tip generally you don't want to put this stuff on your weapons because your weapon damage you're going to want to keep upgrading from a better weapon better weapon better weapon you don't want to have to keep imprinting stuff so put it on probably something else and next up a very good one you get right in the fractured peaks even right at the beginning of the game unlocked by completing zenith so each time chain lightning bounces off you gain four mana every time now when you're going against a tough boss or against a lead or something the chain lightning bouncing 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 it's just going to be replenishing your mana so you can just keep casting a chain lightning over and over again even more and like i mentioned in a lot of builds my favorite thing is a the best defense is a good offense so generally intelligence here on the sorceress you're going to want to get points into that that is the increased skill damage one right there strength obviously you can get increased armor not going to be super important on a sorceress 
increased critical strike chance on the dexterity willpower up here obviously increased mana regeneration is going to be nice to kind of get to but really you're going to want to look for on your gear and to reroll and try to get intelligence so there you have the sorcerers i would play it's going to absolutely wreck and i would implore you to go ahead and give the chain lightning sorceress a try if there's anything you would rather switch around a little bit feel free to let me know down in the comments fellas peace out and do not forget to keep slaying